We've all pushed ourselves to our limits and endured complete exhaustion. We often call this entering the red zone. High speed distance measures the amount of distance a player is forced to cover while moving at the top 3% of speeds observed in professional tennis. If not properly trained for, exertion at these speeds can significantly elevate heart rate and strain the central nervous system. To track her opponent's shot down, Fernandez covers over 15 feet of high speed distance. On this sprint alone, she travels more distance at high speed than her performed in 97% of points at the 2021 US Open. But to win this point, she'll have to recover quickly and ramp up the speed to an even higher level. Phenomenal stuff. 74 feet of high-speed distance covered by Fernandez, which was the second most of any point at the 2021 U.S. Open, represents almost 50% of her total distance accumulated. To win the toughest points, a player must train not only for the volume of distance, but also for high-intensity demands. That's why high-speed distance is one of the four metrics included in the USTA's Tennis Physicality Index. To learn more about the other three metrics that are included, please watch the other videos in this series.